So, I guess I've broken Mesa to the point I killed myself by mistake. Hey everyone, it's me again. Today I got you Mesa, the Gunslinger. So I think I made the strongest Peacemaker build in the game. So without further ado, let's head to her kit. Started with her passive that gives her 15% fire rate when she has dual wielded pistols and 25% reload speed for one handed pistols and 50 health when she has no melee. Her first ability, Ballistic Battery. Once she activates this ability, she starts to store damage, and when you press it again, this damage is converted to your primary or secondary weapon, resulting in a strong bullet. Yup, one bullet. But you can do some shenanigans with the, the seed of glaive, so there is that. But its augment is actually kinda useful. Ballistic Bullseye, that gives you increased critical chance on your weapons, depending on your ability strength. Your weapons can benefit from this crit chance in a single bullet. The second ability, Shooting Gallery. One of the most broken CC abilities in the game. This ability gives Mesa damage bonus on her weapons depending on your ability strength and creates an aura that jams nearby enemy guns and with its augment, after 6 kills or 6 assists, you create a flashlight that blinds enemies. The range of the blind and the aura that jams enemy weapons scales with your range and the duration of the ability scales well with duration. Her Shadow Shield Mesa coats her body with a barrier of energy, reflecting all incoming bullets and reducing its damage by 95% at 200% ability strength. This damage reduction works only on bullets, so melee hits, status procs, slash, toxin, yeah, will hurt you hard. And with its augment, you can stun enemies with the reflected bullets, up to 100% depending on your strength. And now, with her fourth ability, the one and only Peacemaker, Misa summons her exalted secondary weapons under the name Regulators. Their base damage scales with ability strength and the equipped mods on your regulators. And with its augment, you can actually move with 50% of your total movement speed during the cast of this ability. Okay, now since you have decent understanding of Mesa and her kit, let's see how to buff her damage. First of all, you need to know that regulators have 25% critical chance, 3 times critical multiplier, and 10% status chance. So, building a DOT build will be so hard on these weapons, so you are going to be directing your mods towards raw damage builds. Now you will be asking, in terms of Archon Shards, which is better, the Tau Forged Reds for critical chance for secondaries, or go all in in strength, or the new orange shards that gives you like crit chance or when you get uh, kills on him, on enemies that are affected by heat. First you need to know that too much of one thing leads to diminishing returns. So going all in strength with the red archon shards will be useless. So you want to spread your multipliers but you need to keep in mind that the red shards gives you total of a pistol gambit when you have 5 Tau Forged Reds, the orange shards will give you a bigger multiplier in terms of crit chance. But in my case, I went with the red Tau Forged shards for critical chance to secondary weapons, since I like it to be consistent and I don't want to rely on the fact that I need to kill enemies with heat procs. But feel free to try it out and tell me your experience in the comments. 
Moving on to the next section, my utility weapons will be the Grimoire, which is the new weapon, or technically a book, and the Phantasma, or the Phantasma Prime, with some new arcanes that came with the Dreary Paradox. One of them will be Secondary Outburst and Primary Exhilarate. Primary Exhilarate will give me Energy Multiplier that will scale very well with Nourish that will be my helmet. And Secondary Outburst will give me 180% critical chance increase on my secondary weapon. But the problem is I will have to gain combo on my melee. That will be easily done with the Ceramic Dagger, with the Gun and Blade perk and more initial combo with the third perk and two initial combo mods. This will give me up to 9 times combo, 180 crit chance, like I said. And primary exhilarate will will give me energy multiplier when I when I proc impact. And this will easily be done with Phantasma's old fire. This will be modded for viral and heat. The builds will be in the in the last section, so bear with me. Okay, now to the building section. As I told you. This build is not fully maxed, so I have my two Talfort shards and my helmet will be Nourish, as I mentioned, mainly for the energy multiplier and the priming from the damage retaliation. For my Mesa, in Yora I have Combat Discipline to deal damage to myself to activate Arcane Avenger to get free 45% flat critical chance increase to my regulators. Prime Sure Footed for the less time on your butt, Prime Flow for the large energy pool, Rolling Guard for the 3 seconds of vulnerability and status cleanse. The Augment Muzzle Flash to stun enemies if 3 6 kills. Hubble Intensify. You can replace it with Precision Intensify, but I don't recommend this since you are going to lose on the huge energy multiplier on Nourish. Intensify will be paired with Blind Rage to increase my ability strength up to 243%, and this will be enough base damage for my regulators. Stretch and Ogre Reach. For some range, prime continuity to sustain the duration of all of my first three abilities. And the, my other arcane slot will be arcane velocity. My utility weapons will be as mentioned. First we'll go with the Phantasma Prime. The build will be as shown, mainly made for priming. And the main course here is primary exhilarate for the juicy energy regeneration on impact procs. And the Phantasma's all fire will provide that very easy. My Grimoire will have this build. Zara Invocation, when I all fire this weapon and it hits enemies, I gain free energy regeneration for each enemy hit. And this will be multiplied by Nourish. And Secondary Outburst for the free crit chance and crit damage to my secondary weapon. And this snapshots to Regulators. And Ceramic Dagger will provide the combo needed for this Arcane through the Gunner Blade and the free initial combo in the, in the third evolution. And the build will be as shown. All you need here is the Covert Lethality and Corrupted Charge for the free for the initial combo to reach 9 times. You can add Melee Crescendo and do some finishers to reach 12 times combo, but it's an option. Plus, I don't have the Arcane to be honest. Generic for extra energy sustainment and all of the energy regeneration will be multiplied by Nourish. Again, my Regulator's build will be as shown. Crit Chance and Crit Damage, Multi Shot, Corrosive Mods, and more fire rate of multi shot, more fire rate, and prime faction damage. Had to mention that a prime mod for convolution came with Barrow last week. My companion will be the Adarza Kavat. Ketai is the main important part here since it gives you free 60% flat critical chance increase to reach the red crit territory. Take Assault to increase the duration of the crit buff from the Kavat. Tenacious Bond to give me extra 1.2 final critical damage meaning it multiplies my total crit damage on my regulators. And to satisfy its condition, I'm using Bites to surpass 50% critical chance to my Kavat. Wainforce Bond to give me extra 60% fire rate. This will pair additively with Arcane Velocity. And to satisfy its condition, we have a Shield Mod. And reloading my Phantasma will increase the shields on my Kavat. That's it for me, I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. Please consider subscribing, it's free, you can always change your mind. Also, drop a like, it's very appreciated. Stay tuned, and see you all next time in the next video. Bye bye!